If your mechanic doesn't have a titty calendar above his toolbox, you need to go somewhere else. But uh, this is it, it's time. Uh, we're on a little delay with the videos. Let's go over this really quick, I guess. I've been out for two weeks with coronavirus. I was sick, had coronavirus, tested positive. Got really sick, <laughs> really, really sick. Uh, so, and then I quarantined for two weeks, did all that bullshit. Everybody here is good. It was just me, me and my chick. She got sick too, but she had like a sniffle and that was about it, but me, it, it up. I'm too old, I guess, but. But now we're back, we're gonna get back on this video game. We got the Street Rider right now. We're going to get rid of these soft tail fork legs. We've got a set of uh, late model 49 millimeter, 49 millimeter uh, fork legs off of a 2015 uh, low rider. Are they out here? They are, they're over here. We'll walk over there. We're gonna switch this to dual disc. Right now all we're doing, because the fork seals are smoked, so we're gonna put the fork legs on today and reseal all this. This is gonna be kind of a how-to video on how to do fork legs. I still don't recommend you do this shit yourself. You should take it to a professional. Always take it to a professional because these will kill you. You fuck up. But uh, this is gonna be it. We're gonna make it a single disc for now. We do have calipers, we do have other stuff to go. I need to get a 11 16 master cylinder to make up for the dual disc. That's gonna be down the road. And we're putting different wheels on from Jade Affiliate. They're uh, still cutting, they're at Chrome right now actually. So we're gonna do the dual disc when we get the, the new wheels. But for now, it's gonna be a new front end. It's gonna be black. It's gonna be nice. And then I'm gonna be able to run this Super Pimp Stealth Pipe, which we did some tuning on it with the Thunder Max. So it's looking nice and gold. That just beautiful piece of jewelry, which I've got some stainless steel polish. I'm probably just gonna polish this thing every time I ride it because I'm loving it how it looks. We got the subframe on. This is just a tester to see how the rails hold up and see how everything works. I think I went a little too deep, honestly. Not really sure if I'm gonna be able to scrape that or not. Probably. I'm gonna give it my all. But uh, we also just got a call from SNS. SNS is uh, sponsoring us, it looks like. So this thing's gonna be getting a bunch of motor work. We'll be doing videos on that and covering all that stuff and probably making too much power to really wheelie or stunt ride this thing. But this isn't a stunt bike. This is an all around bike, like we've said many times over. Like this is gonna be our Cruzy Original super bike. The road shredder, the street rider, you know, the, the getting down to business, burning gas and smashing ass something like that <laughs> but uh we're gonna get down to it uh everything's laid out over here we got bushings 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 dust seals seals retainers clips if you're a mechanic that's worth a fuck, you should have everything laid out and it should look clean and pretty these are the new fork legs they're freshly powder coated i just cleaned them all out in the solvent tank get all the old powder coat dust out of there we got drag specialties 20 weight fork oil this is what we run have been running it forever and ever it is good fork oil if you want to question it and tell me that i should run something different you should stop and realize i've been doing this a lot longer than you have uh and that's that i'm gonna start tearing it apart i'll kind of give you as much information as i can as i go i'm not a teacher i am a mechanic but uh this is it so for this goofy ass soft tail front end, you need to have one of these. This is a three quarter Allen, it is gigantic, it is expensive. This one's a snap-on, so I paid one of my children for it. The axle goes through and it bolts into the leg on the other side, which looks really nice, but is really a piece of shit. Because if you cross thread that thing when you're putting it in there, which is really easy to do because it doesn't thread in with a shit and there's barely any thread engagement because it still has this hole going up through here. So the threads are, it's like thread, open thread so it's got to catch smoothly if you strip that you're buying a fork leg so i personally which i know somebody already has so this will be for sale if anybody need, needs some low rider fork legs low rider fork legs do not work on street bottoms they do not work with the fender it is different stuff uh, these spacers will be available too because most likely these spacers are not going to work which these spacers weren't right anyways whoever did this wheel swap didn't have her fucking dialed in too good 
uh, I'm probably gonna have to cut spacers. All that being said, because these legs are quite a bit different. But on a positive note, my black fender will bolt up on the Dyna legs because the Street Bob soft tail legs and the Dyna legs, everything's the same. Lowrider stuff though is all different. Oh, look at that, I didn't have to take brake caliper off. Still there. Which? Uh, didn't we get an axle kit for this too? So you technically should have spacers in there. Where is it? I know I wanted one and you're supposed it was to order here. one. Yeah, did it, you come in? It did. Oh yeah, It's Dave, he's doing electrical work. He's got headphones in. Fixing it right. He doesn't only solder, he solders a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing that since this morning, about 450 wires worth. All right, we got an axle. This is just a drag special. These axle kick chrome, because this bike's going black and chrome. For a late model Dyna, super cheap, super easy. Uh, this stuff, like I said, is going in the trash, which that's really nice. I don't have to make spacers, mm -hmm. except we're putting a early model mag on it, so I'm gonna have to make spacers anyways, most likely. Mm -hmm. So that sucks. But it, you should, uh, <clears throat> back to this, you should always take the brake caliper off before you pull the wheel out. I already had it loose. I got to jive talking and, and passed all that up. Make sure you get some Crown Royal bags from your grandpa's closet. You know he's got them laying around. You know he's got some. If he's still alive, that fool's got some Crown Royal bags. You can hang your shit out of the way. Keeps it from banging up your motorcycle. Keeps it from banging up your brake caliper. Banging up your old lady. Don't need these tools anymore. All right, I'm gonna do this one at a time. Make it clean and easy. When in doubt, hit it with an air gun. You will need air tools, that's for sure. You will need some specialty tools, that's for sure. Oh God, look how gnarly that shit is. It's not supposed to be black. Shoot, that shit is bad. Bad, bad. It smells That's, weird. It's burned. It's toast. Oh yeah, you'll need one of these guys. It's 21 millimeter Allen snap-on. It's only 85 bucks. Really not that big of a deal. $85 Allen key. <clears throat> Maybe one of these guys. I got this one on sale for $450. Still not too bad. This is as far as parts cost. Nice $60 adapter. One of these fancy guys, seal driver, 49 millimeter. While these are draining, I'm gonna pop these beauty caps off. That is the notch for popping this off. When you put this back on, It'll always be dinged up from somebody popping it off before or whatever, so line that back up in the same place again. Put the dinged up spot. Now there's a retainer clip in here. Let's give her a pop. Hopefully whoever built this did a good job putting them together so these come out of here. Sometimes the... clean shit right back to where we left off Can put this in my lap again huh? Woo, dirty bitch. realistically all i'd have to do is reassemble put it back together my fork seal driver will go on here and i can put the fork legs on pour, pop the top pour some fluid in and be done with it but I did not build this front end, and I'm gonna be riding this front end, so I wanna know what's going on in there, how much preload's in it. I'd like to know what valve springs and how they set up the valves for the gold valves. If it even has gold valves in it, I don't even know. 
So I guess we'll find out. The discovery. Discovery mission. This is a Jim's fork cap tool. This works for 39 mil, 49 mil, every 9 mil. Gotta have it. It's like 60, 80 bucks. Give or take. Looks good so far. It's gonna be a mess, so I'm dumping on this guy. Spring. Gold valve is. Look at that shit, dude. Filthy. What the f? That's gnarly. Really short top out. See, that's a pretty tall top out spring, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna take a trip to the old solvent tank with this shit, though. Let her soak in the old cancer water there. You put your shit back together clean, it's definitely going to be better shit, you know? Take the time to clean it, make it immaculate. Make it better than everybody else does. Crashing down out of a lot of wheelies over and over again, and it just getting beat and beat. And once you get them so hot like that, fluid just burns up. I've got the blue spring and the gold valve. The blue spring is the light spring, so it's lighter on the dampening. That's the one I prefer to run myself. I like the dampening a little bit on the faster side of things. If you run too heavy of a spring, that's when you get that clunk in the 49 millimeter front ends, where you get that kunk 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 because the, the dampening's too slow, so it's not keeping up with the spring rate. So I run them soft. Which if you run them a little firmer, it's better for you guys that can't set them wheelies down soft because it gives you some more damping like a pre-runner truck. You can sit down on that. The spring really just sets ride height. You don't want a bunch of heavy preload on your spring because that is just really to set ride height. It's all about dampening. I'm going to put 18 ounces of fluid in my ratio right here. <sighs> Start assembling things. Top out spring. This is a good beefy one, they're normally about this tall. I, I'd like a taller top out spring, longer the better. This gives you more cushion when you're clutching that thing up. It also helps it from the clunking shit as well. Top washer, make sure this seal fits in there nice. Sometimes they hang up a little bit. They got little burrs on them like this one does. If you're not carrying a knife at all times, you're up to. You should have a knife on you. Put a little lube on this. A little fluid. Now, which leg am I doing first? Looks like this guy. I'm going to take this. I'm going to dip my finger in here and just soak around the top of this guy a little bit. Set her down there. This is my fluid making seminar. All right, dampener rod. Don't forget your spring, gold valve spacer, spring. Race techs are standard coil. If you have a progressive coil that gets tighter, tighter always goes at the bottom. Washer, which they did not have a washer between the spring and the preload spacer. So that was a no-no. Preload spacer. <laughs> Looks like they got about three quarters of an inch. That's usually what we run about three quarters to one inch above the top of the tube. It's just what we found works the best. This bushing, I want to take this and kind of bend it in just a little bit. Just give it a little tightness. Because they tend to be a little loose and they want to pop out when you slide them on. So this is nice and tight. Rub some lube on it. I remember I put lube inside the tube as well with my finger. It's fork oil is what I mean by lube. This guy goes right here. This is Permatex thread sealer. It's like plumber's dope, pipe dope. It does not go up here on the threads. This is not to lock tight this bitch into the dampener rod, which if you do that and you try and get this out next time, the dampener rod's just gonna spin in there and you're gonna cut your forks tubes in half to get it out. This goes down around the bottom. This is to seal this cheap ass crush washer that they 
put in these things. I'm just going to load this bitch up right down here along the bottom. Wiggle that cocksucker around for me. Into the cup worth of shit, dude. Push on that bitch. Dimple in the fork leg right there. See that? Give me a little bit. Kind of see it sh that shiny spot down there. There's a dent. Like this fork leg. Look at There's a dent right there. Goddamn dent in the fork leg right there. Where the do we get this fork leg from? I have no idea. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Can sand it out of there, but it's got to be smooth. It's just going to eat the bushing up. Oh my god. Trials and tribulations. See, you never know what's going to happen when you break into some job. All right, flashlight. Me. You know, take like a, a five sixteenths or three eighths rod. Mm -hmm. Slice it. Slice down the middle of it and put a big piece of scotch right in there. And let's let it whip around in there and it'll... That's a uh, Joe Mondello trick right there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Joe. Joe Mondello. You know him? I don't, <laughs> but the name sounds like he's, I should. Uh, he, he's dead now, but he was the uh, one of the first guys, actually probably the original head porter. Like an eighth inch mandrel, you do that, you go in there to polish ports. Really? Yeah, it works really Scotch good. Pride will do it up nice, huh? Yep. That looks like a really nice way to clean the fork legs when they come back from powder. I think it's going to go through a bush. Yeah, that's smoother than actually. Put it in a die grinder. That looks good. Grinder This is where all the dicks hang out. Got her to work. Now we're back after that little weird fiasco. You go to tighten the dampener rod, you want to have this in here so you can push it against the wall and put some pressure on it. I just give her a... It's good and tight. Get that back out. All right. First things first, bushing, upper, dipper in some fluid, dropper on, retainer ring. These things are stamped, so this side's round, this side is a sharp edge. Round is down, round goes down, the sharp edge goes up to the seal. Slide that guy on there, little driver. You'll hear it when she sits. Seal, see the spring in there? Spring always goes to the fluid on any seal. So spring down. I'll put a little juice on the inside of this guy. You always want to lubricate your seals. Lube your seals so you don't blow a seal. Nobody wants to be that dude getting caught blowing a seal. Drive the seal till she seats. Got this guy a retainer ring. This guy does. Set her down in there. There's a recessed beveled edge down there that you got to make sure she clips down into. Then the dust shield goes on, which I don't know if I'm going to run this dust shield because I think I might run that factory shit over there. We have any one of them chrome things. I'll see if it oh, it will. I got one problem though. This is powder coated all the way up, and when this part is powder coated, these don't tend to go on. I'm going to give it a good college try. If it don't work, I'm just going to destroy the powder coat and this piece. So when you put these on, you take the seal driver, this is the way she goes, turn it upside down. 
It'll keep it from beating it up. Yeah, it's not quite going on all the way. I just want to check this edge. See, we got a gap over here and it's tight over here. It's because it's not seating all the way. Come on, bitch. Mm, I'm going to pop that back off there and. See that little ding right there? I'm going to line it up with that notch again. Oh yeah. Dialed. Pour some fluid in it. We put 18 ounces in the ratio right. I'm going to dump it in the hole. I'm going to prime the dampening rod. I'm going to pump this guy up and down. You'll feel it when it starts to build pressure. Last to my little 18 ounces, then I'm going to put 8 more ounces in. The total is 26 ounces in a 49 millimeter fork leg. It doesn't matter how tall your tubes are. It doesn't matter shit. It's how much this fills, and you don't want the fluid above the fork seal. Here's a little fact for you. Bottles are made with the filler neck on this side to pour them this way so they don't go bloop, 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 bloop. Makes them pour smooth. Now you know. And 26 ounces of fluid is really nice when you blow your fork seals. You got a long time before you run out. Give her another little prime. Suck it all down to the dampener rod. Get that valve working. Okay, now, you're supposed to put a washer on the top of this, which it had one on there, but it didn't have one against the spring, where that's the crucial one. You want one against the spring because the spring has a coil and a sharp edge that's going to beat its way through this PVC pipe. You do not need one up here because look at this. That's a beautiful, flat, perfect, flat surface that will butt right up against that. And it will also save you a whole lot of grief when it comes time to get this son of a bitch to start. I just like to lay on it with all my body weight. Turn the tube. Man, that one started nice. The first one you do will always, always thread right up. The second one of the day will always, always put the right to you real hard <laughs> it's gonna treat you like a dirty whore that's for sure I'm gonna give this a little tap with my gun give her a test make sure she feels good all right that's just gonna sit in there loose for now move on to the second one that already looks fuck that looks good man So this axle is for a uh, late model Dyna 49 millimeter mid glide front end. This is soft tail mid glide front end, but apparently these trees are narrower because this axle is too wide. If you come over here, which it, it will come out more, see this taper part right there? I'm going to put the washer against it. It's not going to allow this to torque up properly. So this thing is just like a sixteenth too narrow for this axle. So now we gotta make something. So great. Caps that go on the bottom, the axle cap on the late model, the 49 mils, they come with these really shitty button head reusable bolts or not reusable bolts. We throw those away. We use uh, these are grade eight stainless steel metric, they're like 8.25, some metric bullshit or whatever. But 
something you can put a real torque on because you can't torque a button head for shit. We keep these in stock. You know, beautification purposes, torqueification purposes, pussification purposes. And now I'm just putting this thing together to kind of test all my spacing. Make sure everything's going to work. I'm going to have to shim the brake caliper a little bit. It's pretty common with any kind of aftermarket shit like this. Ooh! Got to put a fender on. This front end looks dope. This front end looks Brad. Can't wait to have a chrome fucking nasty wheel. Dude, with... big old chrome wheel with a dual disc on it, dude. Dude, we got rotors being made too. <sighs> to match the wheel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like dude. That chain link wave fucking mm -hmm. Cruzy Originals wheels, Cruzy Originals rotors coming out. It's been a whole lot of working today. It's almost over. I have to smoke the jaunt. green eggs and ham really ready to go home but here she is uh we have the dual disc leg on we're running single disc until we get the wheels from jade affiliate because we also have matching rotors coming so we're going to run those rotors we got some bagger brembo uh front calipers we're going to run for now until somebody steps up and comes through with something good well honestly there's not a lot of good aftermarket brake calipers out there for harley davidson so i'm happy with those uh, the Brembo's are solid. The Brembo's are probably my favorites. This looks really goddamn good. I'm really pumped on it. Really pumped on it. So we got a lot coming. You know the drill. Subscribe, ring the bell, help me feed my kids. We got 14 cats at home. You know, they're eating cat food every day. I'm going to shave every one of them. Catnip's expensive. Catnip's expensive. I got to quit smoking catnip and then everything be just fine. I'd probably have an extra 20 bucks to get through this day. But anyways, Cruzy Originals, man, you know the drill.